On this week's Gardening with Gutner, we're not in the garden, we're in the woods. Baxter Woods, in fact, and we're covering trees. I've got an arborist here, Chris Plant from Davy Tree Experts. Sounds like our main trees are under attack, Chris. They are. We have a few pests, uh, the emerald ash borer, brown tail moth, winter moth, and hemlock willy adelgid. Woof! That's a lot of critters. Why don't we head into the woods and see if we can find any of them? All right, Chris, we're coming up on these trees here. These are hemlocks, and they're really common in Maine, right? They are very common. Um, what attacks hemlocks? Hemlock woolly adelgid. And they've been around for about how long? Almost a decade. About a decade? Okay, let's see if we can get into the needles and see some. Todd, this is a really good example of hemlock woolly adelgid. Mm. These white spots here, yep. and then on the underside, the small ones right on the node. What is this? Is this an insect, a fungus? It's an insect. Ah, it's an insect. We want to keep our hemlocks. How do we do that? Is there a remedy? It's an easy oil treatment in the spring and the fall. Twice a year? Twice a year. All right, Chris, why are you making me put on these rubber gloves? I need your help in putting this Tanglefoot product on that's really sticky. This stuff looks nasty. Why are we doing this? We're using it as a preventative for winter moth damage. Okay, and what, you put some saran wrap on this tree here, and then what, I just spread? Yeah, a few wraps of saran wrap, and then you spread this on, and it helps trap the crawling stage. Okay, instead of getting to the leaves up there, right? Right, in the fall, the winter moth hatch in the ground, and they crawl up, the caterpillars crawl up the tree, and they, what this does is get them stuck in it so that they don't do that damage. How, how bad is the winter moth in Maine? It's been bad in the past, but we've had really good success rate um, and preventing their damage with this. Chris, you're starting to get worried about the emerald ash borer, right? Yeah, that's a big concern of ours. It just made its way into Maine, uh, and once it gets into an ash tree, it will kill it. Uh, a death sentence? It is. <laughs> so how do we prevent that? It, there's a systemic injection you can do to prevent it, and it lasts for two years. Oh, great. Uh, I have a problem. I can't get this bucket from unstuck from my hand. How do I do that? <laughs> I think it's gonna have to go home with you. <laughs> oh no, all right, well let's head out of here. Last stop, Deering Oaks Park. The city of Portland's been in a battle with the brown tail moths, causes skin irritations, breathing issues, and can even kill off trees. Tell me about the brown tail moth. It's been prevalent here in Southern Maine. Its population seems to be moving up the coast and up the rivers. Uh, you can find its nests over winter and you can clip them and drown them in a bucket of water at that time. And if you can't get to them and clip them, then what? You'd have to think about a hydraulic spray or injection. Chris, thanks a lot. You give us a lot to think about with these bugs and creepy crawlies. And if you want to learn more about them, go to our website or our mobile app, and let's continue to grow together or get your growing going. I don't know. We'll see on the next Gardening with Gutner. You having fun? Not really, no. <laughs> You know what? Actually, I take that back. It's kind of strangely satisfying. <laughs>